Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3. I believe this is part um, 5 or something like that, I think. If you remember from the previous part, we met up with uh, Roth after we had um, successfully climbed the radio tower and got in contact with the plane. But that plane crashed and um, one of the pilots has been killed by these Russian guys and now we are on our way to get to the second pilot because Lara can't just um, leave him here to die as Roth wants her to do. We can't just let somebody die. We have to help them, you know? So that is exactly what we're going to be doing after I've um, got rid of these guys here. For some reason they saw Lara, even though she was behind this crate, so that's a bit strange. Uh, but that's okay. It will be fine. So I actually really like this part of the island because um, it's not as dark, it's kind of more light. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know. And I don't think I want to know. Any sign of Sam or Whitman? Nothing yet. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. Okay. We'll try to get in a bit closer. Keep this channel open. Yeah, uh, we'll be heading down and meeting up with them. In a while, not in this video though. First we have to get to the pilot, of course. There's nothing really interesting to do here. I won't be doing it. We're going to follow, um, of course, the blue smoke. That's a signal, as Laura just said. So we need to get over there. And we're using our new uh, ability with the rope and the arrows. It's quite nice, I like using it. Just look at, looking at her climbing, that's amazing. I wish I could do stuff like that, but I wouldn't do it either way because it's so dangerous. I would never try, even try to do this. Who in their right mind yeah, would? Back. Nobody. Up and let me finish. Oh, over here. here's these guys. Oh, bloody hell. That sucks. I really wanted to like go behind them and kill them while they were peeing, pissing, <laughs> and that's quite fun to do actually. You can actually like go behind them and kill them while they're peeing, and that's quite fun to do. Like you're doing it like um, when they're least expecting it, that sort of thing. It's quite fun. You can light these statues if you want to. I think they're supposed to be statues of Himiko. I think that's what they are. I don't really know what happens if you light all of them though. So there is some stuff to climb here. This is not the area we're supposed to go to. Um, I couldn't really figure out what I was supposed to do here. I think you're supposed to go over there, but I don't know how to get across. So I just decided to go back because I, I couldn't do that. Um, there's probably like a tomb up there or something. But I don't know how to get across the waterfall. That's the point. So I'm not going to be doing that. So we're just going to head back and go to the path that we're actually supposed to go to. Which is right over here. More of these rope things. No, not the gun. I have to use the ropes. imagine falling down here that would have been horrible you're like dead instantly there's a secret tomb nearby so I think we'll actually head into the tomb like why not why the hell not and this is actually quite an interesting tomb as well as you can see here it's very dark and it's quite difficult to get in because it's quite low it is, of course, a cave, so it's quite difficult, and it looks scary. I would never go inside here on my own. 
I don't think I would go inside with somebody either though. That must be like a person I could trust if I was to go inside here. And that's the second out of two bow parts found. Now we can upgrade our bow when we go back to, um, um, oh, what's it called again? Um, <laughs> you know, the camp <laughs> when you're like chilling, chilling out. So this is quite an interesting tomb. As you can see, there's very strong wind. Which is quite interesting. I don't know why it's so strong wind in here. It's called the Hall of Asc Ascension though. Here's a camp so we can just upgrade our bow now. Like that. So yeah, I don't know why there's such strong wind in here. I have no idea. Yeah, that was definitely a part of the time. So there's a thing here that we, we need to figure out to get up there. Um, you're supposed to stand on that one and then jump off it when you reach the wall and then climb alongside the wall, if you understand what I mean. Um, but this actually took me a long time to figure out. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out because I, I just couldn't... I, I just didn't understand it when I was filming it, when I was recording it. But now that I'm looking at it, like doing commentary, it's um, it's so obvious what you're supposed to do. But I just couldn't tell what I was supposed to do, so yeah, that's fine. Um, so we just have to watch me <laughs> like fuck around a little bit before before I actually figure out what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to stand on this and when there's strong winds we're gonna ride it on top to the wall and then jump off it and climb alongside the wall to get on top of that um, area. But yeah, um, it took me quite some time to figure out. It's quite embarrassing and annoying to look at actually not really embarrassing no it's not embarrassing it's it's a bit strange it's not like really easy to figure out I guess and now you're supposed to jump on it maybe I figure it out this time or something maybe I do yeah we're riding it on top now oh, oh no it fell down before we have the time to do it. That's sad. So basically you have to time it like, you have to time this perfectly to be able to do it. Um, but I was not able to do it this time around, so just have to try again, I guess. no problem in trying again and the treasure at the end is not really worth it in my opinion it's nothing really interesting but why not like I, I said in the start of the let's play that if it came up that there was a tomb nearby and I could see the entrance to the tomb then I would do it um, but not um, if it's like really difficult to get to or if I have to go out of the store to get it or something like that. Because you don't need to get all of the tombs, but um, it's quite interesting if you're like interested in the story, kind of, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a let's play. We're playing through the story of the game, just having fun with the story. Yeah, the survival instincts doesn't really help here, because it doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do, kind of. Because we already know we're supposed to do something with this, so maybe this is the time I figured it out. I think I figured it out right there. You can see it. I'm supposed to jump on there. Not the bow. Oh, I fell down. There's a horse there too, like a metallic horse. Yeah. Um. So I failed. So I have to do it one more time. Which sucks. Yeah, as you can see, you're supposed to do that. It's quite obvious when you're looking at it like this. 
we just have to try again as always okay um lower it and then we're going to extend that up make it go up and wait for it to come out the wind and then we can wire this on top here. This took me many minutes. Many minutes of that part went to this. Yeah, you need to time adjust it, right, so we need to lift it again, I guess. Uh, we'll just have to try again. Uh, close the windows again. That strong wind. I, I'm like really wondering why there is such strong wind. Like, why? I have no idea. Like inside a cave, it doesn't really make sense, especially when there's not like really strong wind outside. Might be like maybe it like flows through an interesting cave, and um, how this cave is built or sculpted or whatever makes it makes the wind flow through it really strong. I don't know. I'm not good at those things. Okay, there we go. Finally, I made it. So now you can just um, climb, not really climb, but go alongside the edge right here. Like this. And then you can jump off when you get to this area. And we get experience for doing it. Yeah, it's really interesting actually. Looks nice, but of course it's ruins. And here's a treasure chest. <sighs> Tomb Raided. Skill point. I'm savage. Salvage. Handgun parts found, and I got a trophy actually. Perfect. It's quite funny actually how the game um, describes what sounds Lara makes and stuff like that. Like, sighs. Uh, like, she does it, like, and then see, there's a slight um, gasp. It's quite funny to actually read. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, yeah, so now we're finished with that tomb. Yeah, we already know we can upgrade weapons and skills at camp. We already know. We've already done that quite many times. So now that we've figured out that tomb and we've finished it, we can go outside again, exit the tomb. Oh, okay. Look how difficult it is. Like really, it reminds me of like the, um, the wolf cave that we was inside. And the map has been updated too. I really like how there's a map in this game. I don't really check the map like ever when playing this game, but it's quite good that there is a map, of course, so you can check where we are and stuff like that. It's quite nice. Okay, so now we're going to do more of these rope things. We're going to do this one so we can get over here. And over to this area. We can, I think you can actually just jump down there, that like you don't really need to do this. I don't know, yeah, you can definitely jump down. And more salvage. One out of three rifle parts found, and that's another reason why it's quite important to get the salvage. Not only do you get salvage, but you might find, like, gun parts or whatever. And that's always really good to find. Mm. Okay, we can up here now. And now we can get over there. Alright, let's try this. Oh no, climb fast! No! Now you gotta be quick and use your axe and grab onto the wall. 
And that's so dangerous. It's like super dangerous. Like it really is. But Lara Croft made it. Because of course she's Lara Croft. Okay, he's nowhere to be found. So we need to look around for him and see if we can find him. Well, hey Lara, like falling Rob down. New area, worry, mountain pass. Way off this rock, right? I hope so. Any sign of Sam? Yeah, we tracked her to some mm. old Japanese palace. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, don't worry. She's probably just um, sightseeing. You're a terrible liar, Alex. You have to be careful in there. Good luck. Sightseeing. Yeah, Sam is definitely sightseeing, of course. Okay, another camp. Not really anything we can do now. We have a little bit of salvage, so I guess we can buy some stuff. Padded stock. Taped double mag. I don't know. I don't really know much about guns, to be honest. So I don't really know what's like good to get or whatever. Okay, we're now inside a cave. It's completely dark. Almost can't see anything. Good we have our survival instinct so it can kind of show us the way we're supposed to go, kind of. These ruins predate the Kofun period. And that is really beautiful, it really is. Pilgrimage. A queen. Oh, look at this area. Himiko? Beautiful. Yes, it's definitely Himiko. Incredible. And there's oh, Captain Just up. There we go. There he is. Oh my god, look at this area! This is disgusting. So you're probably like really wondering what is going on. Yes, Matthias is not a good guy. And we have been trapped and some sort of creatures are taking out the Russian guys. So the story in this game really gets interesting from this point on in my opinion. Oh my god, there's the Captain Jessup. Oh my god, they're outside the door. Let's find a way out. This is so many corpses. I've never seen so many corpses in a game before. This is crazy. So we'll get more information about what those things are, those tall things with heavy armor. We'll get more information about that later in the game. I won't be talking too much about it. Oh my gosh, she's sliding on the corpses. Yeah, 
so yeah i'm not going to talk too much about what's going on and stuff like that i'm just going to let it flow freely just let you find it out by watching this play and this area is really interesting it kind of looks like kind of looks like um some sort of a temple or like a prehistoric thing of some sort So we just got a new weapon. It's a trench shotgun. It can do that, like blow away stuff like that. And you can also use it in battle, of course. I really love using this weapon. Yeah, they're looking for Lara Croft. Let's try to escape as quickly as we can. It's transferring power. This is an ascension ritual. It's how you chose your successor. Oh no. Oh bloody hell. They are here. So let's use our new gun to do this. Because I love using it in battle. Or maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so we'll know more about that ritual later on in the game. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But yeah, it's basically she's transferring power over to someone else. It's kind of like a rebirth kind of some sort. You probably understood that yourself. And I'm so annoyed with these guys. Can't they just stop, like, bugger off? She's going to take you out anyway, so why fight it? And now I have very little ammo again, so I need to look around for ammo. I hate it when they like, um, you like go out of ammo and stuff like that. I don't like it. But this weapon is so good to use against them. I really love it. There we go, we got their salvage and their ammo. We really needed ammo. So now we're going to go out of here, get out of here. What the hell is that thing? Oh, we need to reload, I guess. Yeah, the Russian guys don't know either what's going on with those huge metal armor things. So nobody knows what they are. So we'll know later on. All we know is that they're called the Guardians. That's all we know from now. Can't even see their face. Shit, they're here! Oh, damn. 
it's really dangerous. Like the tension right now is huge. You can feel it in the air. You can cut it with a butter knife. <laughs> no. Oh, be super careful. And here's another area with like really strong wind. Like it's crazy. I don't understand it. And you can see a bridge far down there. So we're really high up. You can understand that we are. Or far down or whatever. One of those two. This is crazy. I I can't believe that she's not like getting caught by the wind and flying away. Seems really easy for that to happen, you know. Try to get out of here. So we're not going over there, we're going through this hole in the building and going inside the building. Yeah, we'll just take them out first. <laughs> okay, I'm not really good at like stealth because they always figure out. Um, um, where they where Lara is. Like they can always see me coming. Like it's never a surprise, you know. I wish I was more like stealthy, but I guess I'm not. Hmm. Alright. There we go. Are there coming more? I don't think so. Maybe that's all for now. I think there is, yeah. Oh no, it's this guy. Another one of these shield things. But he was quite easy this time. Really easy, actually. The way out of here was right below them. Yeah, the way out is below. Another guy. He went down. Look. So yeah, we need to find a way to get out of here, and they just said the way out is down, so we need to go through the floor, basically. And I'm sorry if you can hear some background noise, I can't control that, of course. So we need to use the windows and the wind to... Um, on that bell, I think you can call it a bell. I don't really know what else to call it, um, except for a bell. And so we're not doing that yet. You're not supposed to open both of the windows yet. That is after a while, not yet. We first have to block um, and destroy those two pillars that you can see on both sides. We need to destroy those first. So we need to have one and one window open basically that's what we need to have so here I finally figured that out <laughs> so um, yeah uh, we can now destroy crush the pillars with the arrow and ropes which I love using there we go that's one of them now we need to change which windows are open because that will change the direction the direction that the, um, that the ball is going to crush the pillars it's easy to figure out, it's not that difficult really not Again. Leave me alone! Stop annoying me all the time. Yeah, they're super annoying these guys. And they have thick armor too, so they're not like super easy to take out either. And he's taking lots of life from me. And I don't like that. There, I think that's all of them. Or not? No, more of them. 
reload quickly. I've got to get out of here. It's like so typical I'm when there's a guy like coming at you and you have to reload. One out of two bow parts found, so we're starting a new like upgrading system for the bow. So now we need to find a way out of here. So we'll use the bell to get out of here. really that dangerous. Oh, jump. No. We're falling down. We need to use our new gun to blast away this. A new area, mountain village. Finally got contact with um, Sam. But we need to find the others first. So join me in the next part and we'll try to figure out what's happened to Sam. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, see you guys in the next video for part 6. Bye bye.